The enigma of the Shroud of Turin is a subject of debate and fascination surrounding a piece of cloth believed to be the burial shroud of Jesus Christ after his crucifixion. The Shroud of Turin is a linen canvas that displays a front and dorsal image of a man who apparently suffered wounds consistent with crucifixion. Over the years, the shroud has undergone intense scientific and religious scrutiny. Some believers argue that the image is a miracle and physical evidence of Jesus' resurrection. However, the authenticity of the shroud has been questioned and subjected to numerous scientific studies and analyses. The Shroud of Turin has undergone various scientific tests and analyzes over the years in an attempt to determine its authenticity and understand the formation of the image on it. Some of the notable tests include. In 1988, radiocarbon dating tests were conducted on samples taken from the Shroud. These tests indicated that the Shroud dates back to the Middle Ages, specifically between the years 1260 and 1390. However, these results have been subject to controversy and criticism due to possible contamination and limitations of the technique used. Various microscopic analyses have been performed on the shroud to examine the fibers and fabric structure. These studies have revealed details about how the shroud was woven and have provided information on the possible presence of dyes or pigments in the fibers. Analyses of the bloodstains present on the shroud have been carried out. These analyses have provided information about the blood type and possible wounds suffered by the man represented on the shroud. Ultraviolet fluorescent studies have been conducted on the shroud to detect possible traces of chemicals or pigments used in its creation. These studies have revealed the presence of organic compounds in the shroud, but their origin and significance remain a subject of debate. High-resolution digital image analyses have been performed on the shroud to study the formation of the image. These analyses have revealed additional details about the texture and characteristics of the image on the shroud, but they have not provided a definitive explanation of its origin. It is important to note that the results of these tests and analyses are still subject to debate and controversy. There is no definitive scientific consensus on the authenticity and origin of the Shroud of Turin, and the discussion on the topic continues in the scientific community. The enigma of the Shroud of Turin remains a subject of debate and controversy. Some consider it a sacred relic and firmly believe in its authenticity, while others view it as a medieval object of veneration or even an elaborate hoax. The question of the Shroud's authenticity remains unresolved and is an exciting topic for those interested in history, science, and religion. The official stance of the Catholic Church regarding the Shroud of Turin is cautious and has not made a definitive pronouncement on its authenticity. The Church has allowed the Shroud to be venerated as a sacred relic and has encouraged reflection and devotion around it, but it does not require an absolute belief in its authenticity. Pope John Paul II, in a letter addressed to the Archbishop of Turin in 1988, expressed respect for the scientific research conducted on the Shroud and appreciation for the faithful who consider it a sacred relic. However, he also emphasized the need for a prudent approach when addressing the question of its authenticity, and called for dialogue between scientists and theologians to delve into its spiritual significance. In summary, the Catholic Church has not made an official statement on the authenticity of the Shroud of Turin, and allows the faithful to venerate it without demanding absolute belief in its authenticity. The Church's stance is cautious and has encouraged scientific research and dialogue between scientists and theologians on the subject.